Again. Today, the Biden administration announced new rules for asylum seekers from Venezuela, and the new policy could impact El Paso's migrant surge. The Department of Homeland Security says Venezuelans who try to enter the country illegally will be sent back to Mexico. ABC 7's Brianna Perez is live from downtown El Paso with more information on the announcement and the response from city leaders tonight. Brianna. Eric, about a month ago, this street here in downtown El Paso was filled with migrants, but as you can see now, they are nearly gone. With 70% of migrants coming from Venezuela, they now face a new challenge. The Department of Homeland Security announced a new joint effort with Mexico to send Venezuelan migrants who try to enter the country illegally back to Mexico. DHS says the goal is to reduce the number of people arriving at the border and help ease pressure on the cities and states receiving the migrants. DHS says it plans to bring up to 24,000 Venezuelan migrants lawfully into the country. But there are qualifications. To be eligible, Venezuelan migrants must have a supporter in the United States who will provide financial assistance, pass rigorous biographical national security and public safety screening and vetting, as well as complete vaccinations. Those who enter the country illegally will be ineligible to take part in the process. Those approved will be authorized on a case-by-case -case basis to travel to the U.S. by air directly to an interior port of entry, this to relieve pressure at the border. El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser says this will help provide some relief. In a statement, he said, quote, This decision will provide some much-needed decompression as we manage this humanitarian crisis so that we may treat every individual with compassion while following the law and as all of us would like to be treated. This comes on the same day as the city receives $2 million from FEMA for future use during this migrant influx. So the $2 million is going in order to, in all of this effort, whether it be through um, food, water, shelter, um, and also transportation. Still, the city says they have used $4 million from the general fund to cover migrant efforts from the months of July to September. We're not at a point where we should be um, deeply alarmed in terms of the funds, but we are concerned in terms of how do we sustain this without starting to affect the residents of El Paso. And the city expects to submit their request for that reimbursement of the $4 million at the end of this month. But for now, reporting in downtown El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC7. All right, Brianna, so why did we get here and how did it happen so quickly? We'll just take a look at this chart right here that you see behind me. This tells you everything. The green and the red lines indicate the fiscal years in terms of Venezuelan migrant encounters in the El Paso sector alone for the last couple of years in 2020 and 2021. You can see it's pretty much a flat line all the way across. But then take a look at the blue line that represents 2022 more than 4700. And you can see it was on about the same trajectory until you get to right here in the summer. And then it skyrockets right here in the month of August. More than 3500 encounters of Venezuelans in the month of August alone. That is what prompted what you just uh, heard from Brianna Perez here earlier tonight.